Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Chakwadash. Also, as well, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. That is feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And also, as well, uh, much due honors, Shalom, to the hopeful elect that's also following the legacy of the apostles and the elders of old and the ancient men, especially our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who has started this ministry. And we are also following that same legacy to also continue to further that ministry and to spread this gospel to the members of the hopeful elect in faith and truth, sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, the uh, topic of this video is going to be entitled, this next bite will be more lethal than the last. And uh, this is pursuing onto uh, this, this coming winter season in which Esau Edom, which is the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, is ready to strike once again. And we know this because now they're having talks concerning uh, three diseases that they claim is going to be prominent here in America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. And those three diseases are, uh, of course, the uh, Crown 19, which you know what we're talking about, the C19, and then you have the, uh, the flu, and I think another one is uh, RCV or something to that effect, which is um, you typically see that with um, with infants that are more vulnerable to that. And they gave it, and you hear uh, the term, uh, triple-demic. And, you know, just like in past events, the so-called white man has used these different diseases in which they are being used because that's the reason why you have this this uh, industry or this entity which is known as the CDC which is the Center of Disease Control and you know things of this nature when you look uh, a year or so ago you know uh, during uh, the the peak of the C-19 you know they were bringing down mandates that shook these people's worlds because in order for you to even continue to go out in your daily life you know and and, and basically uh, fulfill your daily needs or what have you you would either have to cut off your circulation by wearing a face diaper or you have to get bit by that serpent in which is came in the form of uh, the max but since they're speaking about this now you know we, we are weary and we are uh, we're, or should I say we're privy to what comes after this because of course, you know, things of this nature garners a response. And that's what's, that's the tactic that's always been used for generations by this man Esau to for, for him to bring down the legislations that he wants to. Case in point, the max. But this next go around, because it's been such a a, a controversy amongst the people concerning the Max, because you got uh, even ones that are amongst Esau that don't agree with the Max. And it's going to be a, a pushback, of course. But this next go around, you know, they're not going to be playing around as they did before. And here it is. You got our people that are so heavily reliant or so uh, they have so much of a belief that the government is going to come in and save them 
in which they're not. They're not going to come and rescue you. All right. We, we, Esau eat him. You know, he despises us. He knows who we are. So what makes you think that he's going to come in and, 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 and save, you know, our people? For, because for generations on end, he's always through our people out in, in the forefront and continually destroyed our people from the inside out spiritually mentally and physically so and guess what Jake is going to be at the forefront of that once again you know he's going he's to uh, use Jake to promote his uh, way of, of uh, doing things basically his his um, his legislations which in, he always used Jake to do that because we're the most influential and just to use this as an example that's why uh, you have this this uh, movement so to speak or this thing that's going on with uh, Kanye and Kyrie alright all these things are set up man you know, there's there's a reason why these things are happening. You know, because they wanted to go down this way. But all these things are done in efforts to to disrupt this word from going out, and it doesn't stop there. Really, all this is in efforts to destroy the Israel, the Most High. That's why these things are done. But like I said at the beginning, you know, this next bite that's going to be from this serpent in which he is known as the serpent is going to be absolutely lethal. And it could and it could mean your life. So I'm going to hop to the place up. So first I want to grab the book of uh, Revelations, chapter 12. And this is at verse 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. And we are the heavens. Okay, we are the inhabitants of the heavens. The, 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 the hopeful elect, which Lord's will, we're a part of that number. Because when the scriptures go into the, uh, the heavens, you know, we also represent that. So again, it says, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Because us being in, underneath the umbrella of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, being in the sanctuary, because when you read in Ezekiel, it says that the Lord is going to be to us as a little sanctuary from the different places that we're going to be scattered, roughly paraphrasing. So we dwell in heavenly places. So it says rejoice. So when we see things like this, you know, we rejoice because this is going even more more closer to the enactment or or the uh, mandate of the MOTB, which is the C hip. All right, the the C H I P. So that's why we rejoice, and the ones that's gonna uh, is going to accept or to be. Or to accept to be bitten by that serpent, it's not going to end well for them. It's like I said, it's going to be more lethal than the last, and, and and the the last bite that's going to cost your life is going to be by way of the MOTB, which is spoken of in Revelation chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. Okay, the see you. That's going to be the, the the last bite of the serpent. Which is gonna, which is gonna uh, cost you your life, because with that bite, when you're bitten with the serpent, that serpent has a uh, venom, and it doesn't, and they don't bite you just once and be done with it. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, I don't want to say scheduled, but it comes in intervals. With each bite, that venom seeps into the and seeps into your your body, 
and that's in the form of accepting their draconian laws which a part of that or a major part of that is uh the max which they used but it's, it's going to be elevated to the MOTB that's going to be the, the next max and with each bite more of the venom seeps into that person so the more and more our people are bitten the more and more they get sick the more and more they, they die and they and the more they suffer because that venom is getting more intense and it's being added, added on top of each other you're getting more doses of that venom so reading on it says for the devils come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time and this devil right now is running out of time all right you already uh seen what happened with uh evelyn rothschild you know he gave up the ghost and it, because these devils what they do they try to keep themselves uh functioning so that they can have a a, a bite of their agenda which they're trying to meet Because they want, they want to live through this. They want to live through this, this, this last generation. Because this is indeed the last generation. That's why I did that video uh, yesterday. That this has to be the last generation, and and they know this. That's why they they're um, doing everything they can to keep themselves uh, functioning and alive. Because these these devils, these higher ups, these bankers, man, you know they're uh, they're they're all up in age. You know uh, Jacob Rothschild, okay. Uh, the Rockefellers. So they want to see this done. And that's why it's going to be in haste. Everything is being uh, hasted right now. You know, it's crunch time. Just how you're in the game, you're in the fourth quarter. Okay, it's crunch time. You're, you're you know, um, you're in the last two minutes in the fourth quarter. That means that you're you're about to pull out all the stops to win the game, and that's what this devil is doing. He's gonna pull out all the stops to to try to win this war because this is warfare. Don't make make no mistake mistake about it. This is definitely a warfare. That's why scriptures say all uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual. And uh, we wrestle not against uh, flesh and blood. But against principalities, against the rules of the dark, rules of this world and darkness, and, and, and spiritual wickedness in high places. That's talking about the higher also Edom, because they are they are on a higher level on the left hand side. So they're going to do everything that they can to make sure or to ensure their kingdom is established. Their enterprise is, is, is met with success, in which they coined the term, uh, uh, Inuit, I believe it's Inuit Coeptus, which means uh, enterprise crown with success. So they're going to uh, attempt to crown their enterprise with success by way of the MOTB. That's going to be the, the, the last thing to submit. Now, in other words, it's going to be the final nail in the coffin, so to speak, to have this done. So this devil know he has a short time, and you see the times that we're in. Okay, you you're seeing the the tensions with uh, Russia and Ukraine, and recently, you know, you saw in the news that I believe it was a Poland got hit, and. Who's and and you know right now they're going back and forth concerning that, you know, and what the next move to do, in which everything that's going on right now, everything that happens around the world is leading up towards this next coming war. I mean, there there is no turning back. There's no going back. You know, there's no there's no rewinds. This is it, man. So going on from there. Luke chapter 6 verse 24 it says but woe unto you that are rich 
for ye have received your consolation, right? And, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be, have all the money in the world. No, that means that being rich means you have power and you have our people, certain of our people that have aligned themselves with the devil to receive some sort of power. The ones that are in high positions and yeah, they can be rich too. All right, because you got uh, certain ones that are in uh, certain positions that have uh, certain substances that are, are on uh, that are put up higher in society, so to speak. You know, higher than the rest of Drake, which is no different than uh, no different than you know back in back in hardcore bondage. You had the house the house Negro, in which. Uh, they were doing the service of the so-called white man in which they were put in certain positions higher than higher than the others that was out in the field. Why? Because they they, they pledged their allegiance towards uh, Esau and to his servitude. And the same thing is happening now, man. It's not, nothing has changed on the planet Earth. There's no new thing under the sun. So you have ones that are set in high positions that's, that's going to coax our people into accepting this new way of living which is going to be governed by this one world system and that's what they're trying to do bring everything under one system all right the uh bring everything into into oneness which is no different than what was taking place during the construction of the tower of babel where all people were one and that same sentiment that that same uh energy for lack of a better term or that same thing was echoed during the time of the greeks they wanted everybody to be greek they wanted everybody to be one people and so here we are again with the same agenda everybody being one now the question is does the lord support that does Yahweh Bashmiel Shah support everybody coming together being being as one and having one system? No, he's not. He's not with that. It's countless times where the Lord has always divided uh, a certain people. And on top of that, he always separated a remnant from the rest. Even amongst the nation of Israel, there was a separation. Because you have the ones that believed And you have the ones that did not believe The ones that, that uh, Kept the faith Of Yahweh Basham El Shai And the ones that disregarded him So again like it says here But warn to you that are rich For you have received your consolation So those are the ones that are in power Right The ones that have some sort of power They have received their comfort That's what the word consolation means so they've been comforted with the dainties of Esau, but at the cost of their lives. Because in order to receive any of these things, you would have to give your life over to him in one way or another. By even subscribing to the doctrines that are supported by this man, because modern day Christianity, he's, he's not making a, a he's not making, you know, an extra effort to, you know, close down churches or to close down, you know, certain establishments of worship. Why? Because they're they're in bed with him. They were in bed with the, with the so-called white man. In order for you to even have that sort of establishment, you have to go through him. And he has to approve of that. You can't just go up and just put up a building and just say, hey, you know, I'm making this an establishment. No, you got to go through certain uh, uh, channels to do that. And that's why we tell Jake, you need to come out of these churches, man, because they are not there for your benefit. The only thing that's going to happen is that that collection plate is going to be passed around. And you're going to continue to give to that specific church. And they're going to continue to take advantage of you and give you a song and dance and be done with it. And cause and cause our people to continue to transgress the words of Yahweh Shai. 
And that's insult to injury. But um, let me see what I have next. Uh, it's like you. This book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 13. It says, uh, who will pity a charmer that has been with the serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? So there is no pity for the ones that have taken the bite of the serpent. There's no pity, man. And it says, it says, or who, who such or any such as come nigh wild beasts. So who will you pity? It's like a person that, that goes to a zoo and he jumps in a cage with the with the gorillas. What do you think is gonna happen, man? That gorilla gonna tear him apart. Or a person that, that's uh messing around with a lion. What do you think that lion's gonna do? He's gonna bite your head off. So same thing with this serpent, this snake, this devil. If you come anywhere near him, what what do you think is gonna happen? He's gonna bite you. Uh, case in point, we always bring out this story about the woman that uh, nursed the, the snake back to health. And the snake ended up biting her. And she asked, why did you bite me? And the snake said, you know I was a snake. Dummy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so who's going to pity a trauma that's been with a serpent? Nobody's going to pity him because you, know, you have no business being anywhere near this man. And when I say near him, I mean being near his ideologies or his ideas, you know, basically subscribing to what the way he promotes and what's about to take place. Actually, you know what? Uh, I just come to come to mind again. Uh, yeah. So I had this on deck, this image that I took. I believe uh, one of the brothers posted this and actually it was a video done on this too. It says uh, Biden admin vows to reinstate mass mandates this coming winter. So, hey, you know, they, they're telling you, hey, look, that these mandates, they're coming back. But they're gonna come back in, in, in full in in in, a, in, a, in full swing, and it's gonna be even more detrimental. You know, it's gonna even be even more more critical for people to to do this. You know, it's gonna go back to the time to where you know you're gonna be required to do certain things in order to even go into a grocery store and get what you need. Which, like I said, is ultimately gonna lead up to the MOTB. Because guess what? In order for you to even continue to function in society, in today's world, you have to have that see hip. And guess what? A lot of our people are going to take it. Because they want to continue to live their vain lives here in the Babylon the Great. So, I'll go back to the scripture. All right, so again, who will pity a trauma that's been with a serpent? No one's going to pity, pity that trauma. No one's going to pity that person that came near that serpent and got bit. And like I said begin, at the beginning of the video, it's going to be even more lethal than the last. Each bite that you take is more lethal than the last. That's why we're entering into the climax of this man's system. So I'm going to go on from there. I'm grab this last precept. Isaiah chapter 1, this is at verse 4. It says, Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord Yahweh Bashmel Shai, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone away backward. Okay, that is talking about our people, or should I say the majority of our people, because they've been laden with iniquities. When you're laden, actually, let me get that word laden. Right, so it says uh, people laden with iniquity. So that word laden, it says heavy. Okay, or severe, difficult. It says uh, great, grievous, uh, laden, thick. Okay, heavy, great, heavy, hard, uh, burdensome. It says very oppressive. It says numerous. See that? So our people are heavy with iniquity. They have been heavily burdened and continue to add those burdens. So it says, a people laying with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahweh Bashim El Shai, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger, and every everything that these people, these people, or should I say, two thirds of our people, have continued to do is to provoke Yahweh Bashim El Shai into anger, because, but in, in case in point, they're they're still out voting 
for this the, the so-called white man and who's going to rule over them they're they're still out uh electing who's going to be their king instead of looking towards yahweh bashim el to be their king in which he is the, uh, our king and scripture tell you that he's the king of israel So they'd rather have a, a, a demon to be their ruler than to have Yahweh Bashem El to be their ruler. That's, that's how serious this is. So with that being said, verse five, verse five, it says, "Why would you? Why would should you be stricken anymore? Why should you be stricken anymore? Why should you continue to be uh, uh, beat? Why should you continue to be bitten by the serpent? So why you should be stricken anymore?" Because guess what's going to happen? Ye will revolt more and more. And really, when you read verse five, when it says, "Why you sh why should you be stricken anymore?" All right, because the Lord Yahweh Bashmiel Shah is the one that that is uh, laying down these uh, different strokes by the hands of Esau Edom, because Esau is known as the Lord's sword. So he's using Esau, the so-called white man, to bring down these strikes. He's using him to bring down certain judgments on top of every, everything else that's happening on the planet Earth. Because through the rulership of this man, death reigns. So again, it says, why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. So even though the Lord is causing them to be stricken continually, they're going to continue to revolt and it's going to be even more worse. And, and, and make no mistake, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is, is allowing this man to do these things for the for, for the fulfillment of his will and his prophecy. Like I said, all this is leading up to, to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, MOTB. So again, it says, uh, uh, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. So the ones that have, are rich, that are in certain positions above Jake, the, the leaders that have been set up, the head is sick, which caused the, the the rest of the body to be sick, because the head the head is the one that governs the whole body. So the ones that are in high positions, they're sick, man. They're sick with with this uh, philosophy and this doctrine that's being pushed by this devil, which comes in the form of that venom. And and and, and the max is a, is a major part of that. And what's going to be the most, the most major, all right, if I can use that term, the most major out, out of all of that is going to be the, the, the sea hip. And it says the whole heart faint. So the, the, the mind fainteth because that venom is still continuing to be circulated through the body, but not this body, the body that we're, we're in. Is uh, the body of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, which Yahweh Shai is the head. So, with this body that you see, this is the church of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, all right? The, the, the whole elect. That, that's, that's the house that the Lord is dwelling in, all right? The house of David. And the house of David is not going to take that, that, that sea hip, they're not going to take the max. They're going to be uh, kept away from all of that. But the but the other ones? No, you're going to be overtaken by that. Because, again, who will pity, who will pity a trauma that's been with that serpent? Or anyone that come nigh a near, uh, come near a wild beast that gets, that, and, and that person's going to get mauled and destroyed and, and die of that venom that's continually being pushed into them. So I'm going to go ahead and end off on that note. Our Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. To next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule to this day. Shalom, one peace and safety, and citations to the hopeful elect, continuing to labor in his work and labor to show for your diligence to make your calling, election sure, and faith, and truth and sincerity in all charity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.